You want me to put that on my todger? Harry's wife. Worst wife in America. Picture the scene. It's morning in Monty Shit Show. Harry, nowhere to be seen, probably in the chicken coop, sleeping off the fog of a ganger-induced night. The kids are up, the nanny's dealing with them, and then all of a sudden, the quiet calm of the Monty Shit Show morning is pierced by the shrill shrieking shriek of Harry's wife as she yells, Worst wife in America? Worst wife in America? Why am I not the worst wife in the world? I demand to be the worst wife in the world. Of course, what's all this about her being the worst wife in America? Well, something called CelebratingTheSoaps.com, no, me neither, has an article by N.M. Soma Okichikwu titled Harry's Wife Included in Trending Worst Wife in America Poll. Yes, it would appear that there's another salvo challenging her notion of popularity by way of a healthy dose of challenge fuel. Let's dive in and find out what this is all about. There's a viral poll on Twitter right now, and it's got the names of four ultra-famous American celebrities. What's the purpose of this highly controversial poll? It's to find out who the worst wife in America is. Can you guess the names of the four people on this poll? Somebody got bored on Twitter and decided to have a poll to determine who the public thinks is the worst wife in America. Within hours of going live, it had become so popular that by the time it had gotten, by the time it had ended rather, it had gotten over 149,000 votes. The names of the celebrities on the poll included Giselle Fetterman, Jill Biden, Harry's wife, and Jada Pinkett Smith. However, the two American wives that the people were torn over about regarding who should win the crown were Harry's wife and Jada Pinkett Smith. At the end, actress Jada Pinkett Smith narrowly won the race with 32%, compared to Harry's wife's 31%. So, disappointingly for Harry's wife, she's included in a poll of being the worst wife in America, but she can't even win that because she's useless, although she comes blisteringly close. And, of course, it is the controller of Will Smith that wins. And if you haven't indulged in my detailed series about Jada Pinkett Smith and Will, then you don't know what you've been missing, and I encourage you to do so. There are, of course, significant similarities between Pinkett Smith and Harry's wife. They are both narcissists and in the way that they control their husbands. But there are also differences because of the differing types of narcissists that they are with regard to the relevant subschool. The article continues, at this point it does seem like kicking a horse when they're down because Harry's wife and her husband Harry recently got roasted by the popular American adult cartoon South Park and they're probably still reeling from it. The caricature cartoon episodes titled The Worldwide Privacy Tour and featuring the dumb prince and his stupid wife ripped into the royal couple, albeit without personally naming them. In one of the episodes, which has quickly gone viral, Prince Harry and Harry's wife walk into an interview holding up signs that say, Stop looking at us and we want our privacy. However, when the interviewer insists that they do not like privacy, since they're obviously courting the media, Harry gets angry and declares that they leave Canada and go somewhere quiet. The cartoon mocked several of Harry and Harry's wife's realities, including Harry's wife's magazine covers and even Harry's book, boldly retitled Wah. Since the episodes dropped, it's been watched and shared intensely, even though some episodes were pulled down a few hours later. Rumours have it that Harry and Harry's wife's press team is looking into pulling the entire thing down. Now, of course, 
What's interesting in this small piece that appears on celebratingthesoaps.com is that whilst it's about Harry's wife being included in a poll and coming second very closely as worst wife in America, it once again gets in the South Park episode. And what's going to happen for the foreseeable future is that any article about Harry's wife is going to tag on the roasting that occurred in the South Park episode because it's too good an opportunity to forego. It's a little bit like a friend of mine. He is a lawyer, yes, one of those ball-washing bastards. And he moved from one law firm to another. And whenever he was referred to, he was the, the name of his old law firm was always tagged on the end of his name, X, name of law firm. So it was first name, last name, X, name of law firm, to such extent that people then started to joke that that was his actual full name. And this went on for years after he had left his old law firm. He was still known by reference to it. And that's the problem for Harry's wife, is that the extent of this roasting means that people are going to keep bringing it up. And there are so many gems within it. The magazine covers plastered over the house, which take the piss out of the actual magazine covers. The flying saucer hat that she was wearing and perhaps best of all the fact that harry looked inside her to find that she was completely empty which is accurate here her popularity takes another pummeling as she comes second by one percent in a poll of 149,000 votes to be declared runner-up to the worst wife in america this demonstrates the way of course that so many people see her as a horrible and unpleasant individual and, moreover, as being a terrible wife. People will have voted, and no doubt the comments are multitudinous, explaining how she controls Harry, how she devalues Harry, that she makes his life particularly difficult, making decisions for him, steering him around physically, being the one that makes all of the decisions in the household, and that he just has to go along with it, having turned into a complete simp. The existence of this poll, of course, is challenge fuel for Harry's wife, and it's a double whammy for her, because not only is she labelled a worst wife in America as a nominee, she garners a particular percentage, which is substantial, but she doesn't even win it. So she comes second, which, of course, no narcissist likes to come second, even in a poll of this nature. More and more problems pile up for Harry's wife, and it demonstrates that the weight of all of this is going to prevent any meaningful comeback, and underpins the fact that essentially they're finished in terms of ever getting back to the heights that were once had. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.